Hey guys, Daryl here at DJ's Workshop. Another um, project we want to do today is on the truck this time. And we're going to be installing some stable load suspension stabilizers. And Even though I have a one ton dually, pulling this fifth wheel, it is a lot of weight. So there is a little bit of sag in the back, but not as bad as like if it wasn't a dually. Um, but these stabilizers take up the space in the springs that Ford provides to provide a softer ride. So because the springs are longer, um, it is a little bit softer ride, but um, it does give a little more spring to it. So by putting these on, it takes up that gap and it'll actually stiffen the suspension a little bit, help keep the back end from swaying uh, and dipping excessively when you're going over bumps and stuff like that. So it basically is just a bunch of metal plates that bolt together and you slip it into this leaf spring in the gap between the, the helper spring and the regular spring. Um, there's a hole that needs to be in the spring. If you don't have that hole pre-drilled by the factory, they do supply some drill bits to drill those out. Uh, luckily my Ford has those holes so I didn't have to be bothered with that. So let me show you... Um, the pieces that are involved and um, I'll show you how it uh, installed. Okay so you get a series of plates okay and you can use one two or three depending on the gap size in your spring. Um, mine I used all three because I was able to. So you have this mounting bracket here which is going to bolt up to the um, the leaf spring itself okay and it can include all the hardware you need uh, the pins and the bolts and the drill and all that stuff. So basically when you assemble this, it's gonna look like this, okay? So this plate is gonna bolt to the spring. These are gonna be in between. And then you put washers here to make up the difference for the thickness of the spring. Because basically this has to slide. So this pin here, pull this out. You take this pin out. And now it allows this to swivel, okay? So when you're not using it, it's gonna be in this position. And then when you need it, you're just gonna tilt it into this position. And you can do that with this right here. Um, you can just take a half, uh, three-eighths um, ratchet and just stick the end in there or with an extension and just turn it. And then it'll swing it underneath the spring and uh, then it'll give you the support. So let me show you what it looks like inside the truck. Okay, so here's the setup inside the truck. And right here, you can see where the bolt is. That is either there, the hole is either there, or you have to drill it out. It's right at the end of the spring, okay? Um, so what you do is, right now it's in the position where it's not being used. So you take this out, and then you just swing it underneath there all the way, like that, okay? Now it takes up this gap here and doesn't allow that extra travel there, okay? Um, you just lock the pin in like that, put the clip back in, and then that'll keep it locked in that position. It's a little bit stiffer, not much, um, when you're normal driving. So I actually keep it undone when I'm not using it, but when I'm towing, um, I will activate it by locking it into place. And like I say, when you're done, Slip the pin back in. I'll put your carter pin back in. And that's it. So like I say, you have the, the hole in the spring that you may have to drill if you don't have one. You get your spacers to take up the width of the spring. And then that plate just mounts to the spring. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully this will help out a little bit um, when towing, so I don't get that extra play uh, in the back. I noticed there was a little vibration too when taking off when I'm towing, so I'm thinking that it's maybe uh, the spring jumping a little bit with all the weight. So I'm hoping that this is gonna uh, offset that and uh, make it a little smoother when, uh, when traveling. All right guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and a like. Hope that helps. Until next time.